Thousands of residents showed up to the grounds of Naper Settlement this past weekend to take part in music, food, and family fun. We're talking about Naper Days, of course, and NCTV 17's Lindsay Thies reports from the city's downtown. Many think of Naper Days as the starting line to summer festivals in Naperville, and this year was no exception. The beds at Saturday's bed races looked as different as the contestants pushing them down the tracks. From a running shoe to a Nintendo video game Mario Kart to NCTV's very own TV van, several beds rolled down a haystack lined Porter Avenue near the city's downtown. This year, St. Patrick's residents took home the title of the fastest bed. The team's secret? Young legs. Sheer <laughs> athleticism. <laughs> pushing a beautiful nun. <laughs> Organizers say they added more entertainment for the whole family this year, including more main stage bands like Matthew Sweet and inflatables for the kids. In addition to the music, another big hit at Naper Days is the Taste of Naperville, where several area restaurants offer their menu items at a lower cost, and everyone seems to have their menu favorites. French fries, Sullivan steak sandwiches. It's just, they're amazing. They're just, you have to experience it yourself. Over at Rafi's, there is chicken kebabs. Organizers brought 18 vendors into Naper Days, that's up from 12 from last year, and of course you might need something to wash that all down. Altogether, Naperville residents guzzled down 245 gallons of lemonade over the three-day festival. So we make it here uh, fresh, we squeeze the lemons on site here, individually per beverage, put a lot of ice in the glasses, make it nice and cold. All the proceeds from Naper Days go back to Naper Settlement and the Naperville Heritage Society. And with all the food and fun, organizers say the festival is above all a big reminder of family. Family brought me here to Naper Days and I really enjoyed it. My favorite part is at the end of the day when people are exhausted. I like to hang out at the gates and watch people leave and just watch the smiles on their faces and thank them for coming. I'm Lindsay Thies for Naperville Community Television, Channel 17. Naper Days is held over Father's Day weekend every year.